Say, buddy, you mentioned something about research for a story. That's right. Got a tip that something big's happening. In a nowhere little town like that? They sure didn't mention anything about it on TV. Yeah, well, I'm freelance, pal. I don't make my living waiting for the TV to tell me what to cover. <laughs> Here she is. <laughs> Willamette, Colorado. Population 53,594. Distinguishing characteristics, jack shit. <laughs> About the only thing to do in this town is kill time at the shopping mall. What was that? The army? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like taking the helicopter was the way to go. I bet they got all the roads blocked off by now. All right, listen. I want to get shots of the whole town before the National Guard finishes roping it off. Take me over the main street. Hey there guys, Winio here and welcome to Let's Play Dead Rising. Oh boy, oh boy. Ah, oh, I didn't want to take a picture. Uh, right. Getting used to those cameras controls almost literally. <laughs> it has been years since I played this game, so bear with me for a moment. While I, uh, do some bullshit. Anyways, yeah. What is that? Some kind of riot? So, uh, I guess I should explain kind of what's going on here. This is, uh, kind of like a intro prologue kind of thing um, it's not really uh, this thing isn't mandatory like I could hit start at any moment and skip this but when you're just starting out with this game it's really good to uh, do this for um, for experience which is what we're getting by taking these pictures Uh, wonderful experience. Anyways. There is a zombie invasion. And one of the mechanics in this game is taking pictures of stuff. And it is a, uh... Whatever's going on down there, it's not business as usual at this time. Um, uh, you, uh, good me I don't even know what I'm talking about. A main mechanic of this game is taking pictures, and, um, well, uh, as much fun as taking pictures is, it's not really super necessary in the game. Like, you don't really use it all that often. It's kind of bullshit if you really want to think about it. I mean, it's a good mechanic, and it gets you some experience, but there are ten times better ways to earn experience in this game, and you only use pictures for very few parts of it. Like, there's very specific moments that you gotta take pictures of to really get a lot of experience. And speaking of which... Get a thousand experience for taking a picture of that explosion. But after the explosion, we take a picture of it. We're we'll able to get a hundred and three. So, a big uh, part of taking pictures in this game is um, knowing the precise moment to take pictures. 
really, uh, for maximum experience and all that sorts of good stuff, you know, the works. And you'll get the hang of when to take pictures and things like that, but again, I assure you it's not something that's going to be happening all that often. And they kind of just use it as a device for the intro experience to, you know, get you into the universe, get you kind of, uh, atmosphered in. The uh, battery meter down the corner there is actually how many pictures you can take, which you probably already figured out. And the reason I'm giving you a tutorial is because this game's going to give you a tutorial anyways, and it's going to it's gonna be bullshit. Let me guarantee you that. But I think you can turn off um, tutorials in the, in the menu, which I forgot to do before I started recording. drama. Oh my goodness. And no more pictures. Thankfully though, that's the end of this. Kidding me. Oh, man, you are nuts. All right, listen. Don't forget to come back for me. As long as you're not dead, Fred. It's Frank. Frank West. Remember that name, because the whole world's going to know it in three days when I get the scoop. Rooftop. I know I'm gonna get my butt chewed out for this one. We're going down. Reporter, aren't you? Yeah. Oh. Uh. You came alone. Yeah, I'm freelance. You know, go on the battlefield alone, no crew. So, uh, what's going on around here anyway? You came by helicopter, didn't you? What did you see from the sky? Well, if it were just a riot, I doubt the military would quarantine the entire area. The moratorium on information getting out is a little extreme, in my opinion. There's, uh, something else I can't put my finger on. Doesn't sound like civil disobedience. It's too quiet. <laughs> Almost as if everyone's already dead. Yeah. So why don't you just tell me already? What's going on? I think you'd better see for yourself. 
This, my friend, is hell. September 19th, noon, lunchtime. Anyway. <laughs> Frank must be on the heliport at 12 p.m. on the 22nd, or he will be left behind in the mall. Pay careful attention to time as you play, because time does, in fact, move in real time. Except for certain areas like the helipad. Or actually, never mind, hold on. Wait. There are certain areas of the game where time moves slower. There are certain areas of the game where time moves faster, if I'm not mistaken. I think. I'm not 100% sure about that. And if I'm judging by memory, I think there's some places where time doesn't move at all. But, um, we won't be visiting those places too often. Anyway, uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyways, so, welcome to Dead Rising. Your goal is to live three days in this mall with, uh, with whatever means you have to survive. And, well, things are a little cray-cray, as we'll soon find out. What in the world? Anyway, let us go and start our adventure. I'm not gonna, you know, explain too much, like health and whatnot. Hold on, let me see if I can actually change my options down here. Uh, yeah, tutorial off. Thank you. There we go. I will explain things from here on out, and I will explain them to the best of my ability. And if I fail anything, I'm sure someone in the comments will yell at me. This is no time to ogle pretty girls, son. You looking to get yourself eaten alive by zombies? What? Did you just say zombies? Take a look out there. If those ain't zombies, what would you call them? <laughs> There's been more and more of them since last night. Now... They're all that's out there. Eh, look on the bright side. Zombies are stupid and slow. We should be safe in here. All right, then. Feel like making yourself useful? Take a look around the mall. Bring anything we can use for the barricade back here. On delay. Come on, pronto. Alright, so I tried to fix it, see if it got any better. I think it did. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> As you can see, the camera ammo has been refilled because we are, like, awesome or something. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So. 
welcome to the intro experience. Uh, hope you enjoy your stay. Oh, that was not... That was not the way to go. Um, let me just background here. You might be saying, what the heck are you doing? Trust me, everything I do has a point. Now, you see that PP percentage down there? That is what I call, like, photographic opportunities or something. Photo opportunities, photo ops, Kodak moments. Anyways, uh, what happens is you see that thing right there on that B, that little thing on the red spot part that looks like it ain't no one's fucking business, that looks so out of place, that's a PP sticker. Now what these PP stickers are, are things that you can take a picture of, and they are generally in a photogenic place, and when you take a picture of them, you, uh, Fantastic. you get a thousand experience, just like that. But these uh, PP stickers that are all around the place are few and far between, so I would recommend that you uh, probably shouldn't rely on them too much. You don't really have to even go after all of them. I'm not going to go after all of them because they are harder than shit to find. I mean, your best way of finding them is just walking around with your camera and then you just, oh, you suddenly see, yep, there's a percentage somewhere. Well, I don't know what it is, but it is a percentage of something. I don't know why it goes up when I zoom in right there. What the heck? Okay, so it's something in the store over here. There's something in here that is uh, striking my fancy photo-wise. At least I think that is the case. But if so, I don't know. I can't even see it. Um, it could be... No. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Got all these survivors all over the place. Man. Huh? You! Stop right there! Do you have any idea what you've done? Why did you summon me to this place? What are you planning? Would you calm down? I don't even know what you're talking about. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Well, uh, in other news, apparently it takes more than two grown men to take down an old lady. I don't know what universe that makes sense. Anyways, anything and everything is a weapon, so use it. Use it! I want my baseball bat, though. Yikes. Best to avoid zombies this part, because there is quite a bit of them, and you are not yet... Equipped to deal with them, or at least this many. And they're quite aggressive. All these people that are dying don't even bother. You can't save them. Oh. Uh. Uh. Hey, we made it. Where are the others? 
I don't know. I hope they got away. As long as those things are in the mall, we better not use this door. Uh, what are you doing? The air ducts. They'll get us back into the mall, and apparently those things aren't smart enough to use the ducts. So they won't be a factor. Wait a minute. You want to get back in there? What for? Hey, hey. <sighs> nice camera. Are you a photographer? As a matter of fact, I am. Frank West, photojournalist. Could you show me some pictures, Frank? You really seem to know what you're doing. Who are you guys, anyway? And what are you... I took that one near the entrance. That guy do something? No. Thanks for showing me, though. Uh, hey, we're not done talking yet. Just who are you guys? I'm Jesse. The man you saw earlier is Brad. That's all I'm authorized to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> 